you to get a little respite and move indoors? A little bit? Oh, it was great. The, uh, it was it was really hard to keep the juice flowing outside. It, it was this was probably the hottest day we've had. I think it was hot and still. So Venus, that was nice. Have you, have you all used the what's the protocol on the cold training? Have you all used it anytime you want, or is it? Our protocol is the second special things period. We get that whole time in there. I don't know everybody else's. That's their own thing. But we get the second special things period. Kind of catch our breath before the. I think it's the last thing period. Love that thing. What's that? I'm sorry. When you're kind of working and learning how they kind of move, is it? Are, are you kind of like enamored with what they're doing so far and trying to learn like their their moves and their because it is again it's yeah. just different. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, I would say two, three new faces. Um, and I think Colin. I think I'm saying that correct. Um, Breezy, Breeze, Breeze. But not Breeze. Not Breeze. Not Breeze. Not Breeze. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and then Nathan Shepard. Those all three of those guys can go. They all have really good move sets. Um, can rush the pass and play the run really well. Um, and so far, I've been impressed by all three of them. Super talented guys. What's the most surprising part of Rizzi's game? <sighs> With his size and stature, I figured him to be more of a power guy. But he has got an array of moves that just. Like, I wasn't expecting, I would say. Um, given, I don't know, any of his college tape or anything like that. But um, guy's got an array of moves that I think are really impressive. Do you feel like he strings together moves well? I think that's probably one of his better moments. Eric, not from Roadshed, too. They just feel more explosive with this new group. Do you agree with that? What have you seen from them and kind of the dynamic? Yeah. Um, I think all three of those guys can play, In, including Roach. I think Roach is a hell of a player as well. So I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Um, but I think we have a really dynamic interior. Um, guys are flying off the ball. Guys are flying to the ball, getting out of the stack. Um, and honestly, Colin can run. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. He's gotten out on some screens, gotten out of the stack, and I was like, dang, big, he kind of rolling. Hey, a couple guys are referred to you as really kind of taking over the leadership role in that offensive team. What kind of made you feel comfortable in that? Is it just being, being around for a couple of years, getting that second contract? You know, really good the guy in there? How do you do that? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't say the guy. I think we have a lot of, uh, a lot of guys in the room. Uh, but no, I just feel comfortable around them. Um, and I just want us to be the best we can be. It's plain and simple. Um, I want us to take a step forward this year and really just, yeah, be explosive on offense. And I think that starts with us. I was actually just about to ask you about Nick Salieri. What have been your early impressions of him? Uh, Nick can play. Nick can play really well. Um, you know, still learning the playbook a little bit. That's fine. I feel like once he gets set down, he's rolling. What's the transition like with a new quarterback for you? What do you have to learn? Honestly, I'm I'm not saying this as a negative, but I've been through six different quarterbacks since Drew left. Um, so I feel like that's transitioning is kind of easy for me now. Um, at first it was hard right after Drew left, but now I'm like, come on, let's let's get it rolling. We're ready. So. But I mean, is there some technical fundamentals or anything you have to learn? Snap into a new quarterback, or is it so so? Thinking is so so. Um, just learning different cadences. That's, I would say that's always the, the newest thing. Yeah. Is there anything specific about the car? We just we switched the cadence up a little bit from last year. Um, introduced a new two pal. Um, outside of that, nothing too new, too specific. For me. Yeah. It's uh, it's kind of like the main thing you learned about him now that you got a chance to work with him for a little bit. Um, number one, he's an awesome guy off the field. I'd say that's that's a huge thing. Um, you want to be around a quarterback that you can relate to as well. And then on the field, he's just, he's always positive. Um, and I was like, that's a really impressive quality out here in this heat. Because um, he brings the juice every day, and I respect the hell out of that. Yeah, I'm not positive. <laughs> it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. That's a big part of why we do all line dinners. I'm a big old line dinner guy, um, and it just keeps us close, keeps us connected. Um, and you get to know the person before you get to know the player, which I think is really important. Um, 
yeah, and I would say that helps with just communication, how guys communicate. Um, yeah, that's really it. Good guys? Thank you.